Hello everyone, welcome back. So in this video, I'm going through the Windows 10 feature updates. So here I'm in my SCCM console and under software library, under Windows servicing and Windows updates. Here's all the features update available. As you can see here, 1703, it's required, uh, one machine is required. 1703, 32-bit, one machine is also required. 1709, and 1709, 32-bit as well, and 803, and 8039, I'm sorry, 803x64. So this is what I have running in my environment. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to deploy the feature updates. So in order for all the feature updates available under all Windows 10 updates, updates you need to enable the, um, the, um, the updates features. So I click on the administrator and click on site configuration and then under site configuration is sites with right click configure site components and then survey update point update files so you want to make sure you where well, you can download the files full or you can download both full files and approval but the most important is the the upgrades you want to make sure this box is checked so this box is checked and also the products you want to make sure you check windows 10 i check a lot of windows 10 so i want to make sure i get everything but mainly the uh, Windows 10 is the Windows 10, this one, and this one. So those are the two components you want to make sure it's are enabled. And uh, to deploy this features update, all you have to do is right-click and highlight this to update. I'm going to deploy 1703. Go to download. I'm going to call this, I'm going to create a new deployment package called Windows 10 Pro. 1703 updates feature update and I'm going to put it in my source locations deployed I'm going to call this I'm going to create a new folder called updates and this one called Windows 10 feature updates actually I'm going to call this Windows 10 feature updates <clears throat> paste the path now I click next distribution point I'm going to choose my distribution point next next and it's going to start downloading 
English language is the primary language. Click next and next. So it's going to take a while to download because the feature update is pretty huge. It's about three to four gig. So while it's downloading, I want to show you, um, make sure you enable the the client setting for uh, Windows updates by going to the administration, client settings, default client settings, go to properties. Updates. So enable software updates. You want to make sure you have this to yes. Software update scan. By default, it is seven days. So I'm setting it to every day, once a day. And schedule to develop, re-evaluate. Re In the real world scenario, you want to configure this at least to one day. Or seven days if you want, depend on your network environment. Um, so when any software updates deploy deadline is reached, install all of the software updates deploy within the deadline coming soon. So I would recommend this to yes, so that way it's installed everything at one time. Period of time for which all depending deployment within the line, within the deadline in this time also will be installed. Let's put one hour. You can change it to one day. Um, you don't want to impact users that much. You might want to change it to one day. Enable installation express installation file on client. If you enable this, the content will sync to the clients. Ports, leave that alone. Enable management office. If you have Office 365 in your in your environment, you want to make sure you enable that. Enable third-party software updates. That's for like Adobe. If you want to uh, deploy Adobe patches, you need to enable that. Clients, computer agent. Deploy deadline greater than 24 hours. Remind every day, I mean, every hours. Deploy deadline less than 24 hours is remind four hours. Remind every, remind user every hours. So you want to put this, it's going to remind user every four hours. And this one's within 48 hours, it's going to remind user every 24 hours. So that's it. That's um, items related to Windows Agent or Windows Update. Deployment schedule every day. OK, let's see if it's finished downloading. Yeah, it's going to take some time. I'm going to pause the video and then come back um, when it's finished. All right, we are at 50% done. All right, look like it's, the download has been completed. And now I'm going to close it. And if I go back to software library, come on. So, for 1703, as you can see, it has been downloaded. Now I can go ahead and deploy it. I'm going to right click on both of them and then click on deploy.
So I'm going to call this one is Windows 10 Pro Feature Updates 1703. We choose the collection. It's going to be deployed to workstations only. I'm going to click next. Required. Specify time. I'm going to put it 10 p.m. As soon as possible. Once the uh, specified time hit, it's going to start installing at 10 p.m. I'm going to start downloading and then install after the download has completed. So I click next. Display Software and Center. I'm going to hide Software Center and all notification except computer restarts. Deadline behaviors. So you might want to check this if you have maintenance windows and you want to ignore. I'm going to do that here. It's going to reboot. I'm not going to suppress reboot. So it's required reboot. Let it reboot. Next. Make sure you change this to download. And if the patch is not available, let's have it download from the Microsoft website. Click next. Oops, one second. Click next. So basically that's it. That's how you deploy Windows um, Windows 10 feature updates. And let's look at the size of the, um, the files that I downloaded. Feature updates. Properties. So it's 8 gigs. Like I said, it's about eight, four gigs for each um, bit, uh, bit files. Thank you for watching and have a good day.